And from Texas to Mississippi, we are tracking severe weather, bringing wind and hail on this Easter Sunday. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Reynolds Wolf. And I'm Danielle Banks. New Orleans, we want you to get ready because the rain and the thunderstorms moving on in. We want to go ahead and take a live picture across Bourbon Street, obviously. Lots of different colored outfits as everybody's milling around on Easter Sunday. Right now it's 78 degrees and uh, we do have the cloud cover. Things will slow down a little bit later on, but right now we are still concerned about prospects of hail and damaging winds across so much of Louisiana. So hopefully everybody is keeping their ears open. Here's like, a look at our breaking weather alert system, by the way. Absolutely. We'll, we'll look at it all popping up. We've got everything from severe thunderstorm warnings to some tornado warnings popping up across the area. It is a tremendous mess. And let me tell you, for the very latest, we're going to go right to our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Fords, with the latest. And Reynolds, I saw lots of shadows there in that video out of New Orleans. That sun is going to go away in a hurry with some gusty winds, some rain, maybe even some small hail. But way out to the east of that, southwest Georgia, an individual storm with a tornado warning on it. Let's take a look. Here's that big line, a squall line that we've been following across Mississippi, Louisiana. But way out here, there's a few spotty thunderstorms out all by themselves across the south. And one of those with a tornado warning southwest Georgia, Gadsden, uh, Florida. It's come out of there now into Decatur and Seminole counties in Georgia, down to the southwest of Bainbridge in the Desert, the Jinx, the recovery area. There has been some reports of trees down in Decatur County, Georgia. It's a supercell thunderstorm. It has rotation. It's much stronger aloft than it is at the surface. The warm air comes in that way. The rain and hail cooled air wraps around and the tornadoes like to sit right about there when they occur. No visual observations of a tornado yet, but it would come eastbound south of Reynoldsville over toward the Fowlstown area and off to the north of the Faceville area. So a dangerous storm, possibly with a tornado in progress there. I'll show you the velocities on this. Not extremely strong rotation. Right here, you see there is a little bit of red and green touching each other. A few other spots in there, but it's the kind of thing that could give a brief tornado, but at the moment, not showing signs of being one of those real long-lived tornadoes. Long-lived, though, we had that, what we call now a derecho, widespread bow echo with damaging winds over 300 miles along its path from about sunrise into this afternoon, weakened as it got into Mississippi, not so concentrated wind damage. All those blues are winds. It actually began as a line of storms with hail, the white dots, about 3 a.m. near Norman, Oklahoma. That's been along and out ahead of this cold front. Had some pretty high tops there. The yellow were real high. They've collapsed somewhat. The storm's not as strong as they had been, but still new storms firing up in Texas ahead of that front. And we may get some, the cold pocket loft spinning, that counterclockwise circulation offshore and just grazing western parts of California. Could be some storms there that fire up with hail this afternoon. Here's that big bow echo. Mostly it's lost most of its severity, but there could still be 50 mile per hour gusts with that. Uh, it's rolled through Jackson now. It's east of I-55 coming toward Meridian. There's some storms forming out ahead of that too that could become problems. Getting close now to Hammond, working its way over the next hour to the New Orleans area, blasting through the Baton Rouge area, blasting into the Lafayette area. I, I unfortunately zipped past there. Let me see if I can get that one back. The timeline here for New Orleans, I have it just a little bit before 6 o'clock, coming through Hammond there about 4 o'clock, Slidell about 5.30 or so as it moves east-southeast at about 35 miles per hour, per, occasionally severe. A lot of thunderstorms there coming across Lake Charles I-10. It's a rough go of it. Coming toward the Beaumont area, severe thunderstorm warning for Hardin County there, as well as off to the north of Houston there, near Conroe, and sagging its way into the Houston metro area, Harris, Liberty, Montgomery counties. Now you're under severe thunderstorm warnings. It gets a lot more widespread and uh, farther to the west in Texas, but then as we get just west of Kerrville, west of I-10, we have uh, Kerr County, and off to the west of that, Edwards County, with severe thunderstorm warnings. So, all considered, conditions still favorable across parts of Mississippi, down into Louisiana and Texas for severe thunderstorms. That's why we have these watches in effect until 10 p.m., the eastern one until 8 p.m. Mostly it's damaging winds for these lead ones. Could be some hail up to about ping pong ball size, but the western one could be three inches in spots. Couple of areas with the severe threat, as I mentioned, the one in uh, California, afternoon into early evening with a cold air aloft and afternoon heating, some hail. Can't totally rule out some wind or a tornado, but it's pretty low threat for those. Might get to Mobile, coming down across, getting into the Houston and perhaps Corpus Christi area with spotty damaging winds hail. Low chance of a tornado in that event. Tomorrow, the cold front keeps sagging, except it stalls out in parts of Texas. Might be some severe thunderstorms there, especially